many, many people are upset with you because you have changed. You're not the same person that you used to be. A lot of people are wondering what happened to you. And that's what happened when God gives you an awakening. It is people in your life today, some of you, that are very toxic people that are trying everything in their ability to hold on to you. It was never really you that they loved in the first place. It was just your energy, your power, your money, your looks that they were attracted to. They never cared about the person beneath it all. But now that you have taken time to really sit back and reflect and just look at your life. See, when you had the awakening, God slowed you down enough so that you became the observer of your life. And now you've decided to make some changes. Now these changes have caused an eruption in your environment. The toxic lover, the toxic friend, the toxic family members, the toxic work environment, now they're they're whining and they're complaining. They're trying to hold on to the old version of you. They're uncomfortable because they can no longer manipulate and control you. They're mad because they can't use other people to get through to you because you know who you are now. See, it's different when you know who you are. People were so used to you being a pushover, so used to you being a yes uh, ma'am or no ma'am or yes sir or no sir person, so used to you giving all that you had while you received very, very little back. Now that you've decided to put yourself first, now that you've decided to put your spirituality first, now that you've decided to wake up out of the spiritual coma that you have been in, and now that you're standing in your own power as a man or a woman, it's a problem. Because the enemy inside of people don't want to lose a source of energy. The devil knows that he cannot survive without you. The people that are trying to hold on to you haven't awakened yet. So sometimes those people are being used to hold you down. Being used to ruin your life. Being used to make your life a living hell. But now you've decided enough is enough. I'm putting myself first and now it's a problem. Now the gossiping has started. The rumors have started. The brainwashing have started. The flying monkeys have, monkeys have been recruited. Now everybody's trying to talk you into living a lie. Living folk. folk this folk. Folk, I can't say it. Fake, faux is what I'm trying to say. Oh my God, I just get so tickled. But you know what I'm saying, faux, fake, phony, that, that right there. That is what people want you to stay at because they're easier to control that way. It's easier to control you if I can use the traditions that we've always done. It's easier to control you if I can use several passages in the Bible to manipulate you because after all, everybody else did it. It's easier to control you when I can use sex just to, to hook you up where you can't even think straight. It's easier to control you when I can give you drugs to alter your state of consciousness. It's easier to control you when I can make things so unbearable for you that you will come back to me. It's easier to control you when I can get inside out of your head but now the manipulation has been replaced with the helmet of salvation and they can't even get you to do what they want you to do if they tried to so now they're throwing the fit and all up in a frenzy and their life is turned upside down because they're so used to manipulating you and now you found God in such a way that you have awakened I tell you the truth that it is somebody in your life that's trying to hold on 
to something that used to be when you're something new. And until the next video, guys, peace. I still believe in you. I just get so tongue twisted sometimes, guys, but this is just how it's going down because I love you. <laughs> Bye now.